This view is fantastic. The lighting is great. You like it? Yeah, do you? Everything seems very relatable, and it seems like Jason could be you, or Rebecca could be you. And I think that that's one, of, and that really draws you into the story, and it makes it, um, you know, all the more, all the more delicious when things start going badly. I think I know you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, can't place you. I got excited about making a movie or writing a script about it when I thought, how do those roles affect people? through the rest of their life. This is my wife, Robin. This is, I didn't oh. get your name, sorry. Uh, Gordon Molson. Hi. Gordon. Gordon. Robin. Gordo? Yeah. Wow, buddy, I did not recognize you. And rather than tell a story that was set in a high school or whatever, to, to, to write a story that was set with people my age. Gordon Mosley. Oh my gosh, honey, uh, yeah. Gordo and I went to school together like, I don't know, what, 80 years ago. Oh <laughs> Using that concept of what would it be like to run into the person that you treated very badly when you were at school, or on the flip side of that, what would it be like to run into the person who bullied you? But I mean, you know, a lot has happened to me since, since we last saw each other. Some good, some bad, like life, you know, mostly good. But, you know, I believe that a lot of the good could come from the bad, you know. I hear you. I'm playing a woman who has no idea who she is, and because she's put into threatening extreme circumstances, actually grows up and realizes that her marriage is not what she thinks it is. The things that she wants in her life are not the things that she thinks she is, and actually gets strength from a horrible thing. Uh oh, thanks for a lovely dinner. Return the favor. Hope you don't mind. Smile the face. Well, we have to thank him this time. <laughs> For what? Coming onto our property without asking? No. This is not troubling to you? It's one of those great movies that ends and you you just dying to get in the car and talk to the person you saw it with about, hey, do you think that such and such was such and such? And did they do such and such? It's not one of those annoying sort of vague endings. It just asks a question that is really interesting to debate. Was that, did he deserve that or not? Uh, who, who was the villain and who, and who was the, the victim? The past is not done with you.